Greetings Tankers! My name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays. For today's episode we've sent our volunteers far and wide to collect only the finest replays played in the Japanese heavy tanks, all for your viewing pleasure. So sit back, get yourself a drink, like, subscribe, share, comment and let's get straight into it! Our showcase today begins with Sapphire in the Type 63, the Tier 8 premium tank which you had a chance to obtain in Christmas boxes. A deadly hull down fighter with an extremely accurate gun, perfectly able to dominate the one line here on Lakeville. Peppering the enemy team with shells while staying safe by using every single one of those 12 degrees of gun depression. Definitely not a pretty sight for the purple team. Well, unless Sapphire exposes their tinfoil hull armor, that is. Even the dreaded BZ-176 falls flat to these AP shells. Oh, it's not often I complain about the lack of gun elevation. But just as one side of the one line has been won, and the number of enemy tanks defending the base has been reduced to none, all of Sapphire's good work is being undone faster than one could say home run. What seems to have been a done deal of a replay has rapidly turned into a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, that was a pun. So, with the minimap looking like this, Sapphire will need a miracle to get out of this one. Oh, seems like the enemy team has realized there's no fighting our hero. Oh, come on! What a heartbreak! Well, that explains the title of this replay. I have no doubt in my mind that Sapphire would have won this game. Unfortunately, capping is an integral part of the game. And as the enemy STA won on 664 damage would say, a win is a win. Thus, Sapphire will have to settle for 2,000 gold and our best replay style instead of a well-deserved victory. Congratulations and commiserations! Up next, we've got 1230321. Hey, that nickname is a little bit sus. As is this tank, correct me if I'm wrong, comment section, but the Type 5 Heavy has been in the game for a wee while now. Well now, guess we have no choice but to see how our hero fares on the reworked airfield. Now, now, this is not a place for you, little Progetto. Leave this flank to the big boys. Well, that was one heck of an engagement! Dealing 7,400 damage and blocking another 8k surely means this game is almost won, right? Right? Well, it seems like our hero has a bit more of that carrying business ahead of them. No 
no escape for you. <laughs> Ooh, that one hurt. Fortunately, having 3,170 HP in total means it's gonna take far more than one inconvenient heat shell to destroy this behemoth. Now, where's that annoying one to one? Come on, there's no fun in running away. Where are you now, one to one? Here we go, GG! Oh, <laughs> what a game that was! An utter domination by the venerable Type 5 Heavy, dealing a grand total of 11,841 damage and bouncing almost as much! Pay attention, comment section, if you ever needed a tank to complete HT15, this one should be very high on your shortlist. For all that effort, our newly renamed hero shall receive 2,500 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Our best replay this week was submitted by Ajudant Hauber in the Junu. Yes, you're seeing this right, a tier 6 tank. And if you were thinking, oh, Wargaming must have made this tank super OP and now they are promoting it. Yes, but no. The gun is decent, the turret armor is passable, the hull is paper, and Arty sees you as a giant bag of free damage. I assure you, this shot was meant for our Junu. It. Now we'll be able to see what this tank is truly about. Whew, have I mentioned the engine getting damaged from the front? No? Well, that's a thing apparently. However, it's going to take a heck of a lot more than just a repair kit to bring back this Panzer IV. Maybe it would be best to find some hard cover. <laughs> Out of our way, little TD! Nobody stands between Adjutant Hauber and the Clicker Contingent. Back to the naughty corner with you. Oh, and you too! Now, you'd think after this Herculean effort, our hero would only have to mop up a few stragglers to win the game. But nope. Instead, we've got four enemy tanks to deal with and one less than helpful ally left. Alright, pause it here for a second. If this situation here doesn't scream game over to you, you should probably call your ophthalmologist.
What am I watching? You've got to be kidding me! What an outplay! No way this just happened! GG! That has to be one of the craziest last stands I've ever seen! Adjutant Hauber fought all four remaining tanks at the same time and came out on top! And in the process, scoring 10 kills and almost 6k damage. Unbelievable! A truly magnificent replay, which all of you will agree deserves 3,000 gold, a best replay style, and the title of best replay of the week. Congratulations! <laughs> now that was a heck of a replay to end things on. Usually we're used to seeing enemies arriving one by one, but this was something else. So, while I might need a minute or two to cool down, how about you get to see which screenshots made it onto our episode this week? First off, we've got Top Tier 90 with a fairly unorthodox play in their Type 63. Up next is YT Get Balanced EU. High five! And finally, Mega Strovets driving into the sunset. I really love seeing all the new screenshots you come up with every week, so keep them coming. And of course, make sure to submit your best replays to us as well. And with that announcement out of the way, I'm Adam Sogrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!